But the real difference here in men is he's a businessman and I'm a fucking Spartan. <laughs> Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news. Once again, concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, he is on a roll. Get this. Fury, he said, White won the Euro lottery. He has done nothing but get chinned by a 45-year-old. <laughs> Those are the words of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury says it would be very special to box Dillian White at Wembley Stadium, although Fury's promoter Frank Warren and Bob Arum are still waiting for White to return a signed contract. And he say, if it was Wembley Stadium, it would be a very special moment for me. Very special, Fury said. It has been a while. I have been busy cracking America and taking over out there. I have been successful, but now it seems now it is time to come home and give the fans a well-earned fight at home. Okay, it's four years since I fought here. I have been out and conquered America. Instead, won the belt and became a massive pay-per-view star. I am back in the UK. So Dillian White is the next uh, back challenger for me. He says I don't hate Dillian White, and he don't hate me. I'm going to make him a lot of money, more than he could have ever made in a million lifetimes. He should admire me and I have respect for him as my WBC mandatory challenger. With White seemingly reluctant to sign the contract, the WBC has set a date of February 19th as the deadline. Okay, And he said that I, I think not talking is pathetic. We are here to talk up and sell one of the biggest fights in British boxing history, and he needs to play his part, Fury said. They keep going on about money and percentages, but this little shit is getting, he is getting eight times more than I got when I beat Vladimir Klitschko, and I was 20 times more popular than him for that fight, undefeated mandatory with both the WBO and the WBA and had won three world title eliminators. This sucker has done nothing but get chinned by a 45-year-old man, and he is getting eight times more than me. It's a lottery win. He would be very sensible to take his money before he loses it. It is like this idiot has won the Euro lottery. Fury cannot hold back his disdain towards White, okay? <laughs> and called him a coward. Let me stop there. Well, first off, if you guys don't know, um, they were referring to, he was referring to, um, Alexander Povetkin, you know, and Alexander Povetkin, as you know, during the pandemic, uh, the last week of fight, uh, fight camp, okay, in Eddie Hearn's backyard, Dillian White was knocked out cold by Alexander Povetkin. Now, Alexander Povetkin is not 45, he's 42, he'll be 43 this year. But of course he was exaggerating, but that's who he was referring to. Okay. He was referring to uh Alexander Povetkin, which that's true. He did get knocked out, but he's not 45. But I mean, a lot of fights that Dillian White has fought, you know, fought Parker, which Tyson is very close with Parker, so that's understandable. Then you got guys like Oscar Rivas, and Oscar Rivas, you know, uh Tyson Fury ducked him. OK, so we have to call a spade a spade. He didn't want to fight Oscar Rivas, you know, and I think the problem was um, guys like Rivas was a known guy. OK, I haven't seen and heard from him since he signed with top rank. He could be really a potential fighter one day of Tyson Fury if he decides to stay with top rank, which who knows if he will or not. But um, he didn't want to fight him and Dillian White fought him instead. You know, Lucas Brown, he was kind of like the lower tier. Um, so Joseph Parker, he fought Joseph Parker. He fought Oscar Rivas. He fought, he knocked out Lucas Brown, which was undefeated at the time, you know, after coming back from his long layoffs from failed drug tests and those things. Um, he fought Derek Chisora, which they both have that common opponent. Um, who else? He fought him twice, which I'd rather that been Ortiz because had he fought Ortiz, 
Ortiz would have maybe would or would not have be a factor right now, right? Because I think people have to be applied to fight different types to see how they line up. You have to fight the best or the top guys to be considered the best. Um, he, of course, he fought Joshua and got knocked out by Joshua. He did buckle Joshua in one of those rounds. I think it was like the first round or something like that. But those guys were welling at each other, okay? Um, what else? He avenged the, the loss to Povetkin, but, uh, but that wasn't the same Povetkin after COVID. Um, but then you say that or you hear Tyson Fury make these type of uh, comments towards Dillian White. Well, besides, okay, besides Vladimir, Wilder, who else really is it? You struggle against Otto Vilene, and we don't really know how good he is because he hadn't got his opportunity to fight anybody else, like higher. You know, he beat Dominic Brazil. Uh, so did Joshua. So did Wilder. So, I mean, he has that ace in the hole, but Dominic Brazil, I don't even think he's fighting anymore. Uh, so I don't think he's a factor at all or someone that you can really brag on. But, you know, he did that. But he didn't do anything else besides go 12 rounds with Fury and give him hell, which was a good check in his book, okay? But other than that, you know, Dillian White has a better resume than Tyson Fury. So him saying, yeah, he won the lottery, he won 20 times more than he made, and um, he said uh, that he mentioned that I was a, I was 20 times more popular than Dillian White was when I fought Vladimir Klitschko, that's absolutely wrong. If you compare Dillian White, this Dillian White right now, compared to the person that upset Vladimir Klitschko, that's way off. Okay, I don't know what he was thinking about. Maybe that's his ego talking like, oh, I was, no, you wasn't. Tyson Fury wasn't selling out arenas. Okay, he wasn't selling out arenas. He never fought at Wembley, and he, you can see why he wants to fight at Wembley. OK, so he would want to fight at Wembley because guys like Joshua and, you know, Carl Frotch and those guys like that sold Wembley out, which Tyson Fury didn't fight at Wembley to sell out anything. OK, so, yeah, he went to other people's backyard because he wasn't really all that respected in his home at home. And you heard him talk about uh, the UK at one point because he said he didn't get the recognition like he felt he deserved. You guys remember that? And he talked about, you know, growing up as a traveler, as a gypsy and how the gypsies were discriminated. Okay. It was in that same conversation. So again, him saying, oh, we got chinned by a 45 year old. That's all he's done. And he's made the lottery and this and that and the other. No, Dillian White's made four or five million dollars before on fight purses. So if anything, these guys are more equal than anything, and I think they should respect each other at the end of the day and understand where they are and who they are to each other. Because any one of them beat each other, it's going to be another notch on the belt, right? So there you go. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tyson the Gypsy King Fury saying that Dillian White won the lottery and he didn't do nothing in his career but get knocked out by 45 year old. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.